Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button right there. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Today I'm less tired than I was yesterday because I was not bored all day. <laughs> I uh, laid out the newspaper today. Like actually in InDesign design pages. So every article, every photo, every ad has to be placed. I did it. <laughs> I did that. But I'm home now. And I work vintage junkie tomorrow. But other than that, I don't have to work anymore this weekend. Except on my stuff that I want to do. And I'm going to work on a project today because a few months ago, I bought a pillow cover, a canvas pillow cover to do a project on. Then I forgot and I bought these pillow covers. And then I forgot and I bought these pillow covers. So now I have, how many are in here? Four. Uh... One, one, and one. I have six pillows I gotta create. Not all of them today. <laughs> We're gonna start with one. Let's see, it's this size 16 by 16, which I don't think I wanna do the 16 by 16. I think I wanna do 18 by 18. And then these are. These are 20 by 20. Anyway, the 18 by 18 works out great because I have a bunch of feather inserts in the 20 by 20. Don't I, they were 20 by 20. Let's try a big one. Because I'm pretty sure it doesn't say on here that these are 20 by 20, but I think I bought a 20 by 20. This was not intentional that I bought all these. I'm not joking. I knew I wanted to try a pillow project and um, kept forgetting that I actually bought the stuff. Yeah, this is a 20 by 20. And clearly I had a theme in mind because they're all the same sort of material. They're all this canvas colored. Um, I think one said linen. This is definitely not a real linen, but this is a 20 by 20. It's a good size, it's a good size accent pillow, right? And I can remember one of the projects I wanted to work on because I don't know if you guys remember this. I got this fabric some time ago and I kind of fell in love with all the birds that are on it. And it was one pane and it looks like a big stained glass window with a bunch of little birds all over it. And I, I didn't know what I was going to do with it, but I wanted it. So I bought it and now I know what I'm going to do with it because I have right here, Mod Podge fabric Mod Podge. Cause you know, I can't sew, right? So what I'm thinking is I'm going to use this to do applique onto the pillow and then possibly like do a whip stitch around it. I can do a basic stitch around it. The sewing would not get done today or on camera because <laughs> there'll be a lot of cursing and poking myself and that's probably not what you guys came here for. So um biggest concern I have is picking the right bird because there's so so many and they're so cute. I would like the bluebird myself. So I cut I cut one of the um, butterflies off and I did a project that's coming up on the website. So you have to go to that now that it's back up. Don't get me started. Um, but here's a bluebird, a bluebird, but it has a hummingbird. It has a couple hummingbirds. 
anyway, here you go. So we've got cardinals over here, hummingbirds over here. I don't know what the heck that is. Looks like a little finch up here. And that looks like a, that looks like a wren, doesn't it? You know what? I actually like that one right there in the corner. I like this guy. And the robin. And then down here is a bluebird. Which I love bluebirds. So this is, I'm kind of partial to him. But I think I'm going to start with this guy. Let's start with that one. Okay. So I'm going to cut him out. I have the sewing scissors. I found at a garage sale for $2. They're awesome. They're super sharp. I should probably sharpen them again. Somebody took really good care of these. And I should probably follow suit. So my whole thing is I have a lot of fabrics that I absolutely love that I only have like a little piece left here and there or fabrics like this that it's so pretty, but there's only one panel and I don't know where they got it. So what do you do with it? You can make a pillow. And I thought, oh, you could sew it into a pillow, like actually use this as the front of a, front of a pillow and put something different on the back and stuff it. And then I went, I don't actually have that skill. I like the idea of that skill, but I don't have that skill. So my, I keep saying so, and you want to know why? Because I had to work on a project today where the woman said so, like every other word, and now it's in my brain. So, just keep a running count. Take a shot every time I say so. <laughs> New drinking game. If you're watching this in the morning, I'm sorry. <laughs> Have a bad day. <laughs> but anyway, up at the top of this messy shelf behind me is a bag full of fabric with little tiny pieces that are left of really pretty flowers and things like that, that I wanted to do on pillows like this. I paused there and didn't say it, but you could probably assume it and take the shot anyway. So <laughs> I'm going to cut the bird out. First things first is we're going to cut the bird out. Um, I am going to start with this little wren thing and I'm going to cut right along that black line that's kind of separating all my birds here just so that I keep it really nice. I'm not going to use the full square. I just want to get this into a more manageable, manageable. The other thing I thought that I could do with these was stamp them or stencil them. Oh, bear with me. I have the fabric paints that work really, really well. I have the rose gold and the white pearl, and I thought rose gold might be really pretty to do a stencil pattern on. That might happen still. But right now we're gonna do this one. So let me cut this guy out. And then I will get you guys turned around in order for you to see what I'm doing. I didn't use the word. I didn't use that dreaded word that I've been saying all day. Have you ever had that where like you run into somebody and they have that quirky word that they don't even know they're saying. It's like an unconscious tick and they say that word with everything. Yeah. That was this person. And uh, it was brutal. So I'm cutting really close to my bird. You can see there's a tiny bit of the green over here. I'll probably trim that off. And I'm going to get as close as I can on this side as well. I think I will leave the branch that he's sitting on. Just because it would look kind of awkward if he didn't have that. And then I'm going to have to figure out where to place it on this. My dog just laid down in front of the door because she misses me terribly. And then I come in here and I ignore her. And she's like, my mom left me. Uh, you were gone all day. She's getting used to her new normal. 
We're all going through a period of adjustment. My husband's had to make dinner three nights in a row. It's a period of adjustment for us all. Okay, come here, birdie, birdie. I don't know why I love this fabric so much. I mean, I kind of have a bird fetish going on lately, don't I? We all know I decoupage the crap out of that paper that Kathleen and Melon sent me. I was like, oh, I'm going to put birds on everything. I still have some left. Never know, and I'm going to decide I need to put a bird on something else. And here I am. Putting bird on something else. There he is. I think I'm gonna leave the green between his feet. I don't know. So there, my cute little bird. Cute little bird. You cute little bird. Cute, cute, cute. Maybe if I can start saying cute a million times, I'll stop saying the other word. Let me find something to put between the pieces of fabric because since we're using the uh, fabric. Mod Podge. Have I used this before? I think I used the Martha Stewart brand last time. Oh no, I did. Okay, so this is the Mod Podge for fabric. Apply with a what? Brush or sponge applicator. I thought it said sponge applicator, but I didn't see the brush part. I'm like, I don't have a sponge applicator. Did I use a sponge? Nope. <laughs> I don't have a sponge. All right, let me see if I can find a piece of cardboard or something to pl place between the two pieces because this will soak through and I don't want it to glue the pillow together. Flattened Amazon box. Good enough. And I am going to put, I think, the bird like right in here. And now I'm wondering if that's just not going to be enough. We're going to go with it because that was my first instinct. That if I start questioning it now, it's just mass chaos, I tell you. So this is Mod Podge fabric glue on a brush. Because, you know, it's supposedly permanent. <laughs> it can be washed. We're going to test that, by the way. Don't think this isn't getting tested. All right, so I've got the base down. And then what I'm gonna do is fold the bird back and work my way up. A lot of glue on those edges. Let's get his tail down. I'm saying he because the vibrant colored ones are always the boys. So I don't know, nature sucks that way. All right, it's on there, but now do we put a coat over it? Hello. Smooth in place with your fingers, let dry for two hours before stealing and then apply a coat of Mod Podge over the top. Okay, and then it will be machine washable. All right, so we got two hours. Okay, little birdie birdie, smooth it with my fingers and let it wait two hours. We'll be back. All right, it's getting late and I'm doing this for you guys. He's on there. And we are gonna grab the Mod Podge. The dog won't go potty. She's not using the pooper. She's not pooping. And now we're going to put a thin coat <laughs> of this really thick glue over the top. I'm even going to concentrate on those edges, like I said. I know it's going to fray there if I don't. Got a lot around his little tail there because I don't want that to come off.
And I feel like this area is vulnerable as well. I got a lot by his beak, but let's get a little more in there. <laughs> a lot in there. Yeah, thin coat my eye. We're getting that sucker on there. Who knows, maybe once this is dry and I look at it on a pillow, I'll find like a flower I want to put up in the other corner or something. I don't know. At this point, we are delving into art. You get to be artistic. You get to be able to figure out what you like, what you think the pillow needs, what more it needs. I just think he's cute looking off into the distance like that. Just look at your face. Look at your face. It's so cute. I'm going to go find the insert. We're going to get this uh, on an insert here. So you can see what it's going to look like all fluffed up. But good Lord, it's got to dry again. Oh, inside it feels like rubber where that is. That looks super cute though like that. I'm going to go find the insert. Found them. So I got a bunch of these. So I got like four or five of them at the thrift store. They're 20 by 20 down inserts. And somebody gave them all to the thrift store. They're brand new. They haven't even been opened. I am the first one opening this. All right. Woohoo. Some feathers coming out. Woohoo. Let's get this sucker in there. There. Right there. Right there. I didn't double coat that little spot. And let's fix it. Can you even see that? I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you can see. I know I just got like extra on the edges. Stay down, little birdie birdie. Okay. Let's get you flipped around. All right. It's cute, right? I think he's cute just sort of staring up at nothing. Maybe we'll figure out. I don't know. I definitely want to do something with the other birds, but not tonight, guys. This is going to be my only one for tonight, but I'm really glad I finally used one of these. I think the first pillow cover that I got, I wanted to do paint because I have all that fabric paint. I wanted to stencil something on it. And I think it was like believe at Christmas time, if I remember correctly. I wanted to do something like that. So maybe the smaller ones will have to get that. But I definitely want to do another bird one. Look how cute he is. We're going to test out whether or not you can wash this after he's fully dry. So this top coat has to wait another uh, two hours and I don't have two hours. I'm going to bed. I have to work at Vintage Junkie tomorrow. So that's not going to happen. But I think he turned out really sweet, right? See, it's the birds for me. Very cute. Maybe I'll slap a price tag on him. No, just kidding. He can't, we gotta test out whether or not you can dry it. I love him. I love him. I just love how he's just sitting there looking off in the distance. Very cute. Handmade, artist made. I'm an artist now. So that's artist made. I think I got it in the right spot in the corner too because this little butt just tucks right into the corner of the pillow. Like, I gotta make sure that stays down now. Right there, look how he looks like right in the corner. But anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. <laughs> I promise it's gonna get better. I gotta get used to my new normal and then I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna figure this out. <sighs> anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. If you haven't yet gotten one of your happy junkin shirts, don't forget to click the links below. It supports me and the channel, and you will meet your people when you wear this. I swear, I don't go out to a garage sale or a thrift store or anywhere junkin that it does not get comments. So get your happy junkin shirt. And if you'd like to send me a thrift flip challenge, you can do that as well. Send it to the P.O. box. Uh, I said no creepy mail, but hey, creepy babies are fair game. <laughs> I end up doing a creepy baby display at, at uh, Junk Bonanza this fall. So some of my dolls are so creepy now. I'm like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> and 
if you like to buy me a coffee because your girl's on half a tank, you can do that as well. It's like Patreon without the monthly commitment. I appreciate every one of you that's watching. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like this video. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Click the little blue button. I love you guys. Bye. Happy checking. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.